Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hello, you are spiritually connected with Katiba, that's for sure. Okay, look, someone is big mad at you right now, okay? They're mad at you because you chose peace over drama. Okay, maybe they're not big mad, but the point is they don't fool with you. They don't fool with you like that. They're not feeling you, okay? They're not feeling you. They can't get what it is that they want out of you. They can't have you in the ways in which they once had you or the ways in which they want you, the ways in which they need you. And they're big mad about it. You chose peace over drama. You chose to pull your energy back. You chose to step away. You chose to distance yourself. You chose to maybe love them from a distance. And for that, they are not feeling you, okay? <laughs> Someone is big mad because you chose peace over drama, but you just had to do what was best for you. You had to do what was best for your mental health. You had to do what was best to keep yourself sane. Enough was enough, okay? Enough was enough. It was thing after thing. It was thing after thing. You couldn't take it no more. You wanted to still keep that soft a soft side in you like you didn't want to be cold hearted so you had to step away you had to pull back you had to distance yourself and because of that somebody is big mad at you okay they are big mad they wanted you to engage in that drama with them more than what you did because you maybe once did entertain it you maybe once did but you decided that ain't for you. You decided that you ain't got to live your life like that. You decided that that right there ain't it. That right there don't make you feel good. That right there don't help you sleep better at night. Someone is big mad at you right now because you chose, like, you chose that self-love. You chose to honor your soul. You chose to honor the goodness that you have versus honoring your lower self. They are big mad because you didn't go toe to toe with them. You didn't keep it up. You didn't continue to live in that drama. You didn't continue to live in that dysfunction. They wanted you to be dysfunctional with them. This is the way that they per se, may live their life. This is the way in which that they communicate with others. And when they came and they communicated with you like that, you hit them with that, with that switch up. Like, you decided that you wasn't going to entertain it. You may have gave it some entertainment in the past. Somebody is big mad because you chose peace over drama. You decided that you don't want to live your life like that anymore. Or maybe you never did, but possibly because of who they are, you felt like this is the least that you can do. You can at least respond to them. You can at least engage with them. You can at least explain yourself to them. But you decided you ain't doing that no more. You ain't got to explain yourself to nobody no more. And you never had to. You never had to. You chose a peace of mind over the drama, over the hardships, like over the feeling down and out. You decided that you don't want to feel down and out. You decided that when this person come around, that when you talk to this person, it's it's no good feelings that come out of that. Or maybe it is, but the bad outweighs the good. That's where it has kind of led you to. Like That's where the relationship has kind of went. And that ain't what you want. You decided that if you don't feel good after talking to a person, if you don't feel good after being in their presence, that you would rather not have them around, that you would rather love them from a distance, that you would rather um, like space out the times in which you do interact with them because who wants to feel like that so often? So you decided that, okay, Maybe I won't completely cut them off, or maybe you did, okay? <laughs> Let me know if you did. <laughs> maybe you did, but if you didn't, you just feel like you don't want to do that so much. So you're going to limit 
their access to you. And this is why they are big mad because you have limited their access to you. You are showing them that it is not okay to come at you like that. It is not okay to deal with you in them ways. And because you're not easy, easily uh, walk over a bowl, okay? <laughs> because you're not easy to be walked over, they are big mad. Because they're used to having their way with people. They're used to dealing with people in a certain way. And it's nothing personal towards you. It's just who they are. It's who they are. They're used to dealing with people in a certain way. And because you have upped your standards, because you have found your self-worth, because you have found yourself, because you have set boundaries, they big mad, okay? <laughs> they big mad. They don't know how to handle it. They ain't never had to deal with nobody who got so much self-respect and so much self-love as you do. You telling them how to deal with you. You showing them how to deal with you. And they don't like that. Ain't nobody ever told them how to deal with them. Like what? That sounds very, very, very strange to them. Ain't nobody ever came at them like that. Ain't nobody ever put their foot down. Ain't nobody ever showed them that if they deal with you in that way, then you have no problem with not dealing with them at all. Nobody ain't never showed them that. So this is why they're confused. This is why they are upset. This is why they feel like they don't really like you like that because you got a mind of your own. They ain't really dealt with nobody who have a mind of their own. You are something different. You are something different, but it rubs them the wrong way because they can't have their way with you. They can't have you like they want to have you. They can't deal with you how they want to deal with you. Or they can't deal with you how they deal with others. They have to come to you correct or don't come at all. That's the standard that you set. Because you have standards, they don't like that. They don't like that. It's not many people that they have had to deal with that had standards. And if they did, then it scared them off and they walked away. But because of who you are... There's some type of sense of entitlement there. There's some type of sense of like this is what we do or this is how it's been with us. But although it may be how it has been with y'all, you decided that enough was enough, okay? That you ain't got to deal with that. You decided that that's not how you want your relationships to go. Like that's not how you want to deal with people and if you got to do that then you just rather not <laughs> then you just rather distance yourself you decided that it's not worth the stress it's not worth the trauma it's not worth the drama you don't want to be living in days like you don't want to be like you're pretty conscious about it okay you're pretty conscious about what's going on so you don't want to like have people around that you're going to have to heal from like in the next few months in the next year like you don't want to have to do that you rather just nip it in the bud right now like you rather just deal with it now you rather set the bar high now versus letting people do whatever it is that they want to do to you say whatever it is that they want to say with to you or deal with you in whatever ways in which they want to deal with you you're not doing that no more. And I don't blame you. You're not doing that no more. You didn't mess around and found out who you was, okay? You didn't mess around and, 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 and found that self-love. Like, they may have caught you in a time where you per se didn't have it like that. But now you are doing the inner work. And now you, you like, you loving on yourself. And all that good stuff, they don't have much coming. They don't have much coming. This is why they are big mad, okay? They are big mad because you chose peace over drama. You chose peace over drama. You decided that you don't want to live your life like that because it does not make you feel good. And people who don't 
make you feel good, people who don't bring you value, you rather not just you just rather not have them around. So if this video resonate, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. Look, y'all, I have $400 waiting on you. Some of y'all already got the $100. Some of y'all already got the $300. But either way, if you want to just do one, you can do one. If you want to do both, you can do both. If you want to save it for the next man, that's okay as well. But it is only for a limited time. Open up a Chase, a qualified Chase banking account, and you can get you $300, okay? Open up a qualified Chime mobile banking app account and you can get you $100. Like, we we all about work, like getting money and not having to work hard for it, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I like to get money. But ain't nobody trying to be out here slaving, hustling, and bustling for it. So get yourself an extra $400 by clicking the links down in my description. You can do them 100% online, y'all. There is no uh, center that you have to walk into. And for those um, who are outside of the United States, I'm working on something for y'all, okay? But look, Chase Bank is darn near everywhere in the United States. <laughs> everywhere. But then again, you got your mobile banking app. So look, what you do with the account after you get your money is totally up to you. But just click the link, read what they tell you to do. Very, very, very simple process, y'all. I can't, but like, salute to those who have already done it because it's very simple. Like, you could, like, get money, period, okay? Anywho, that's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually into, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.